What's up, everybody? So Joshua with Oki, and guys, we're going to cover today pretty much, you know, what is Solana NFTs? And I feel like at this moment, this is very, very important for you guys to maybe pay attention to. Listen, here's the thing. NFTs are very, very risky. You can make it in this game. Don't get me wrong. But you may lose money learning this as well. I just want to make that very clear. This is not financial advice at all. So take what I say as just entertainment, right? Like, by the end of the day, I'm in crypto. I'm in blockchain to make fucking money at the end of the day, right? And so I see trends, and that's what I ride. Uh, I'm, I do have some, like, long-term holds and everything like that, but mainly I think for Solana, you could potentially make quick flips very, very efficiently. And so I'm going to try to walk you guys through my philosophies, how I view NFTs in general, and how... You guys can use the Solana NFT ecosystem. But I also want to address how they differ from another network as well and a few other networks because I had some questions in our Discord channel and I just kind of want to address that somebody was saying how they wanted to set up a MetaMask and I wanted to let them know, right, that if you have never been in NFTs and you've definitely never been in MetaMask NFTs with the Ethereum network, because of Ethereum, until Ethereum 2.0 comes out, their transaction fees, every time you mint an NFT or you buy an NFT, it's something like $75 or $150, which is fucking crazy. Now, most people can't afford that. So where should most people, I think, be looking? Well, what's happening right now, differently than last April in 2021, I mean, we're still in 2021, but different... <laughs> You know, back in April and, and all that, where people were jumping into these Ethereum NFTs, when that was first starting exploding, this is kind of like the same thing that's happening now with Solana, I think. And so possibly maybe in 2022, you are going to see a gigaboom or a huge sin for Solana NFTs, especially when Solana starts making its rip towards $1,000 at some point in time in this bull run, because we're still not out the game yet. The market's still not over, right, if you're into cryptocurrency. So, with Solana, the cool thing about Solana, again, is each time you do a transaction when you want to buy an NFT or you want to mint something, it's like $0.20, cents, $0.50 cents versus Ethereum $70, $150 and more that you'll end up paying. So, a lot of people are like, okay, well, until the 2.0 comes out, I'm going to move over here. And also, think about this. A lot of people have already made a shit ton of money in Ethereum NFT, so they have to take that money somewhere else, and people don't want to pay the gas. So I see a bunch of people pumping money into Solana NFTs, and I also see a lot of influence online. I'm going to get into this a little bit farther throughout the video. I recommend everybody always set up a MetaMask. It's free. Go ahead and just do that, right? It's a no-brainer. And also set up a Binance wallet. Binance has a smart chain contract, and they also have NFTs on that side of things. They also have a decentralized exchange, and they have DeFi. But the point is, is every time you do a transaction on this network, it's like $0.20. Cents. So versus, again, Ethereum's $75. And if you're not into NFTs or you're not into crypto, then you're, you, you won't know this unless you actually experience. And I, I learned this all firsthand, and I, I probably still lose money left and right just like moving things around. but I make money now. That's the difference. So you also have the Phantom extension, which is this right here. So once you install that, which is pretty much the point of this video, we're going to walk through that process. And then you also have like Yori Nami wallet for Cardano. And you also have the Yori wallet for Cardano as well. There's two of them. I mean, everybody, every network seems to have two or three different wallets, to be honest. But what I focus on are pretty much these right here. So again, we have MetaMask, we have Binance Smart Chain Wallet, which I think is just Binance Wallet, and then Phantom, and then I'm not going to click on this because I think they like load the websites weird. So Nami and Yori. So, okay, so we covered that. What I want to cover next with you guys. What you guys first should do is... We try to make these videos as often as possible, so please make sure you follow down there, hit the subscribe, hit, hit the bell icon, help us out. But also you guys should join, you should follow me on Twitter, right, right here. And obviously I'm able to 
give you guys information a whole lot faster. I can't always make videos for everybody all hours of the day. So just keep up with here. Sometimes I share things that, you know, I was talking about this project earlier today. I'll explain this later on in the video. But, um, and also, for example, like this, this project right here I just talked about two hours ago, Glory Smacks. It's actually a free NFT you can go ahead and do right now. So if you go to my Twitter, make sure you follow me, okay? Put the bell icon so you can get alerts. But also, when you go to this, you just create the account. Very simple. Make your own password. And then you create the wallet. Make sure you, one thing also, guys, when you create your wallets, it gives you something like a seed phrase the first time. It's very important that you do not lose it. Write it down. Save it somehow. Don't share it with people, right? It's basically a way for you to get into your account if you lose your password. No matter where you are in the world, which is pretty cool. But if you lose that shit, you're out of there, bro. So, I would at least go ahead and set this up. It's pretty cool. I'm not going to click on it. But um, what you need to do is go ahead and follow me again. And then click on link tree here. And it will take you to this. And it will pull up our Discord channel. Go ahead and join in there. Because what we have built for you guys in here is, first of all, Kosher Coin is going to be a cryptocurrency. So if you're getting in here, you're getting super duper early. Okay, We still have a lot of work for me and my team to get behind and get done. But on top of growing the uh, the community, for example. So let's see here. So once you click on Discord, you'll have your you have on the left hand side. You should have something like right here, uh, NFT for noobs, and you guys can click on this bad boy. And then we've already covered in here, so you literally can just like click on some links, watch some videos as well as literally just like walk through the step by step we've already broken it down for you guys so right here new to new nfts you're free to ask the questions in the channel come in here and ask us some questions if you don't know you don't know not a big deal there's no dumb questions here uh you guys so you know download metamask blah blah blah, blah. we walk through that process but i'm not going to walk through metamask setup i'm more concerned with solana today so two things you want to consider when you install your solana wallet which i'll walk you through but basically, if you are inside the United States, you have to get Solana on the Phantom Wallet a little bit differently than everybody else outside of the United States. So let's cover if you are outside the United States first, because I feel like right at the moment, most of my viewers may be outside the United States. So what you want to do is open up your Phantom Wallet. Okay. And once this bad boy is open right here, once you've set up your account and all that, and uh, I guess I'll, I'll walk you guys through that process first. Let me, let me backtrack. So here we go. Download and install the Phantom extension. You could click this, and you'll have this load up. And at this point, all you guys got to do is just like read through this, you know, check it out if you want. They also support these other browsers, which is pretty cool. So you guys can use any one of these if you're more comfortable. Me personally, I like the Chrome browser. And just add, um, add to your browser. So let's see here. I'm going to try to copy this so I can open it on my um, Chrome. And so once you guys are inside of here, just go ahead and just add this to Chrome. Put this button here. Hit this install. And it should eventually show up up here. If it does not, all you have to do on the Chrome browser is click that extensions thing and find it in the list here and just pin it. Just click it. So once that's done, once you guys have set up the actual account, right? Let's go back a little bit. So once you guys have gone and have this opened, for you to get money if on the Solana Phantom extension, if you're outside the United States, all you have to do is hit deposit, hit that, buy with MoonPay, it'll open up a window, you check out, it'll have all the pricing, and then you can actually use your credit card and pay with your credit card to get your Solana tokens on your Phantom X, uh, wallet. And that's it. I mean, it's really that simple. And you'll you'll have the balance here, and then um, later through this video, I'll cover how to connect to Magic Eden's marketplace, so that way you can look at those NFTs, buy them, whatever you want to do. But let's cover if you are outside of the United States. So let me walk you through this philosophy. 
So what you have to do is, in my opinion, come over here and uh, just read this right here, to be honest. For everybody else, you can just walk through these steps. We have videos, we have timestamps, all that good stuff. And we have text, we broke it down for you guys. But I mean, really right here, if you're in the United States, it says, basically you buy Solana from an exchange like Binance US. Uh, I'm trying to think. <laughs> Uh, KuCoin, I think, has some as well. You also have Crypto.com. I like using, I personally like using Binance US, but I find that a lot of states in the United States don't cover this. Um, but there's also Binance for the globe. So if you're outside the United States, you can use that as well to buy your Solana. I love Binance, me personally. I use it all the time. And um, Crypto.com, like I said, and I think KuCoin, and maybe some other ones. But basically the goal is if you're in the United States, you gotta get Solana from one of these exchanges that already exists in our marketplace. And what you have to do is I actually walk through it right here for you guys, Solana to Phantom, and I explain it right here. Okay, it's very, very simple. Um so you'll buy the Solana coins on your exchange. You'll have to go and set up the account, load up some money, connect your bank accounts, whatever it may be. And get some Solana. And once you have your Solana, what you want to do is come up here and you can actually copy your address for your wallet. This is where you send your money. So this right here is your overall. And literally, you can send USDC, you can send USDT, you can send Solana. That's pretty much it, man. To the single address. You don't have to worry about like different addresses. What I like to do just so I feel like I'm safe and I'm making not mistakes generally. I click right here on Solana and I'm like, okay, cool, I'm gonna deposit. All right. And this gives me gives me my address. And basically they'll once you buy coins on your exchange, there will be like a withdrawal function. You put this address in, put the amount of tokens you want to send, hit submit, and it should come over here in a couple seconds. I would recommend doing doing a test transaction first when you withdraw for the first time. Send like five dollars over to make sure you got the address right. Because what if you do a big amount and it's the wrong address? You know what I mean? It's gone. There's there's no refunds. There's no there's no receipts in crypto. You know what I'm saying? That's it. It's a wrap. So now everybody should have money, hopefully at this point, on their Phantom Mask wallet, or at least understand the concept behind it. So basically, what's happened is the everybody's leaving. Not everybody, but you know, people are leaving Ethereum NFTs and they're just scooping up the Solana NFT stuff. So once you're over here on the Solana marketplace, let me go ahead. I'm actually already signed up. Perfect. So like, here's my actual account. Let me refresh. Let's see if it's going up. All right. So this is like the home page. What it has like right here. What you want to do is like, once you have your wallet set up and done, hit select. It's going to give you these options. These are some other wallets you could install. I personally like using Phantom. I believe it was created by the Solana team, if I remember correctly. They have a Discord for this if you guys want to find out more information about the Phantom. So let's say I was interested in a project. You can look up here. They have a banner. These are all generally the most recent projects. Some are cheaper than others. You know, it's hard to explain without going into individual ones. At the moment, here's what I see. I see the well, Catalina, right here. The Catalina wine mixer has been one of the most talked about projects. It could be something that just keeps going up and up and up, but it's also very expensive as it is. This project was just launched the other day. It, it was moving a lot of volume, but let's just cover kind of um, this whole process of how it works. So let's just say cover something a little bit more that I, I look at lately, which has been these two. I've been really looking at these two. And you can see it's actually in the popular collections. And there's a reason for this. So again, you should really follow me on Twitter if you're not. Also, go ahead and make sure you guys hit that follow button. Hit the bell icon so you can get notified. Um, we also let you guys know when we go live in our Discord. And I'll let you guys know when I go live on the Twitter as well. But the point is, is I do mention hot things that happen. So the, what I do, right, it's very simple. In the Solana NFT space, each network has their own ecosystem. You guys got to understand that. This thing is like a living organism. Uh, and if you want to be successful in this, you have to be in this all the way in. So I follow like a lot of cool people. Follow me, find out who I'm following, follow those people. 
what you could do is look for people that have like soul in their name. You should probably follow those people as well, I feel like, because they probably like soul. But what I do is I obviously read through like my Twitter feed and I see shit, man, and I see shit. So sometimes I jump on things, for example, like this project here, which is what I'm about to cover, the the Panther project. Okay, so this gold one just sold, and I actually owned one of these gold ones earlier today. I sold mine for around 4.2, and this one actually sold for 19 sold, so whatever. So I will drop alpha for you guys. I'm not saying you guys will always make gold, always make bank. Don't jump into my projects, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I'm completely wrong. But the point is, I'm trying to show you guys logic and how these things work and what I'm looking for. So I pay attention to Twitter. I follow some cool people. I follow certain influencers. And I try to get into projects as cheap and early as possible. I also look at utility. Are they going to have breeding? Are they going to have token airdrops? Are they going to have airdrops? So you own one of their NFTs, they give you free NFTs to your wallet. I want to know these things. Those are projects I'm generally interested in. Alright, so if I was just to pull up any random project, which again, I'm just going to focus on something I'm kind of paying attention to at the, at the moment. The Panthers and the Metaverse project, I've been, I put really, really good. I got into this really cheap. What I do when I first come to these things is I look at the floor price. I look at how much total has been sold. I read about it. I like to click the Twitter. I like to check the Discord sometimes. I also mainly like to hit this button right here. So here you can tell how much the transactions are going through, how often. So two minutes ago, two minutes ago, seven minutes ago, seven minutes ago. Let's just show you how this works, okay? So let's take another project, for example, that I've been, I have flipped all day today. For example, I made like $2,000 today, $15,000. So I was about $1,500 today I made off of this strategy. Look at this. A minute ago, a minute ago, less than a minute ago. See what I'm saying? So this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the waves. And you also you also can see how much you're selling for. It. So in hindsight, these things are pretty, you know, uh, they're okay. So at this point, you understand what I'm looking for, right? You have the the sales thing. Let's take a project that another one, just just so you can really maybe see what I'm talking. About. Let's just take these guys, maybe. Maybe the stereo work in a, a group, right? So this one's obviously selling pretty quickly, it's too. I like that. So maybe I'll, I'll pick up something. Not a bad gig. But I'm trying to find something to show you. Let's take these guys, maybe, right? God, geez, everything I'm showing you is selling right now. <laughs> Uh, that's a good deal though, maybe. So maybe I, I, I should get this one. Sheesh. Jeez, everything's selling. I can't show you something that hasn't sold like an hour ago. All right, let's go look at my profile. How about that? That's probably going to be more. So let's just take, I was, let's just say I was like, oh, how are these baby Yodas doing? You know what I'm saying? I look over here. I look in here. So this one's, the last one sold 20, 21 minutes ago, an hour ago, two hours ago, four hours ago, four hours ago. You get what I'm saying? So the hype's not there. I can't quickly flip, flip this. I'm probably going to have to hold it more longer term. Does that make sense? Versus something like Cozy Cubs. Cozy Cubs are flying off the shelf, and some of the other ones I showed you were flying off the shelf. I originally got in at... Um, I originally got into these, these at like, uh, what are they at? I bought this one at 0.56 and then I bought my other one, for example, at, uh, 0.55. I bought three. I sold one. I sold one for 1.6 sold. And so basically that, that paid for all three of my initial investments. So, you know, I bought I bought one for again. I bought three basically for 0.5, and I already sold one for 1.5 like four hours later. And basically, I was talking about this in my Discord, but I was watching these transactions. I was I've been literally uh, refreshing this all day long, just like this, right? And I just been watching these flip, 
and I, I sort from low to high so you can see the floor. And so basically I'm looking for cool things on the floor that I like. Like this stands out a little, little bit to me. This gold cap stands out a little bit to me for sure. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I might snag that right now. But here's here's another one, one point two. So but if I was to show you guys a little bit farther back on the history, look, it actually ran up to the floor ran up to one point six and I had some listed at one point seven and one point eight, but I actually delisted because I thought that it was gonna go to like two. So I relisted those at two and I missed that. And now it's back down to like 0.8 or something. Where's that? So here's some like 1.1s. I feel like I might have gone too far. Here's one, two, five. Yeah, I feel like I might have gone too far right there. But the floor did go up to like 1.6. And I probably definitely could have sold the, the one. Right, so basically, I sold one. I bought three. I sold one for one point five, and you know I could just sweep up the floor a little bit and just keep flipping them up. That's basically the logic. So the cool thing about Solana is you can go ahead and just like click on something, and you can go ahead and buy it really, really quickly. I mean, look at this, and just hit approve, and the transaction should go through. It'll cost you like twenty cents, and then you can turn around and immediately, with almost no gas fee, resell something. Just type out like here, you hit list now, this window will pop open, you hit approve, boom, it's listed, just like that. And you can just cancel the listing if you want to move the price down or up, whatever you want to do. And you just go back and forth like this. So that's kind of how I'm sniping things. I'm, I'm looking at Twitter, right? I'm following some cool people, some people that are in the know, for example. And when these projects get pumped up, right, I try to get in pretty quickly. So... Um, let's look at let's look at the Panthers again. Panthers. So I've been really looking at these guys. I really want to get back in. I'll be honest. So I got into this project over the weekend. I dropped something like two thousand dollars on the Solana NFTs. I made fifteen hundred dollars in two days. So basically, I'm almost fully paid back my 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 full investment. And look, I even have more cash. I have cash value from it to invest into new projects, and I still have. All these other NFTs I have yet to uh, move. I'm not listing any of these. I haven't listed, and I don't mean that as I'm never going to list. I'm just saying I don't have these listed, any of these listed, if you see it here. So a lot, you know, I got four right here, for example. You should always probably get two per collection because one you can flip and one you can stay committed to the project. I wish I was still in here. So basically, I got into these Panthers. I saw it again on Twitter. I looked at some projects that were very, very similar to this. Th those floors for those other projects that were similar, they were something like 100 Solana. So these are 3.6. And they also have a really renowned team member. So I'm behind the community. And at least I was. So I, I bought one of the gold things. Like I said, it sold for 19 Solana today. Unfortunately, I sold probably early. But I sold both of mine for 4 Solana. Which means I got 1.5 Solana from each one of those, which means I made 3 Solana from my original 5 Solana investment, which is pretty dope. So I got, you know, a profit of 3 Solana tokens. But these things are selling. They are selling. Look at the floor. They're flying off. So in theory, I made profit. I'd want to come and watch the floor and I want to get this as cheap as possible. Me, I'm looking at 3. I'm looking for 2.5, 2.6 entry. And it was just this not too long ago. But look, they even got some 12 selling. They got a 15 that sold. 12 that sold. 17 that sold. I mean, these things are ripping. And so this, what, I'm like, okay, damn. I don't, I don't know if I want to, I made profit, right, guys? I made like $800 off of this collection alone. So Unless it gets really cheap on the floor, I'm probably not going to jump back in. I wish I had the other one, but I saw both. It's Christmas time. I'm trying to ball out. You know what I'm saying? I'm in this game to make money, take your profits. Uh, but I am looking at like cozy cubs because the floor is cheaper. I mean, right now this is like a, one soul and I got in at uh, 0.5 and 0.2. So obviously maybe I want to look for something a little cheaper, like one of the other ones uh, that was running like crazy. But, um, yeah, that's basically my philosophy. Now, another way to look at this, guys, is 
you have these cool projects like this, for example, they're going to have breeding, they're going to have token airdrops later down the road. So maybe you don't want to flip this project pretty quickly. Plus, I mean, I got in, I don't remember what the floor I got in at, at it was like, uh, I don't know, 0.1 or something. But I'm in this project until I can sell it for like at least one sold. I'm, I'm not going to flip for pennies and dimes. This is pretty much a dead project. This right here is a great project. They have a full token coming for us. You have to never basically relist this thing. You just buy it, and then you'll get airdrop tokens. You'll get um, airdropped NFTs as well, I think. And then this is pretty cool. So this is Embarrow. It should allow you to sh basically display your NFT in like a gallery style, which is pretty cool. But you can look at the cells, and they're just flying as well. I got a tier one right off the floor. I actually paid like 1.2, 1.4 for these things, so it's going down on me, but whatever. Maybe I'll sweep the floor. And I got these right here. I actually bought some of these at uh, 1.4, 1.2, I'll be honest. Um, but, but I did sweep one today at the floor at 0.78, so I just added another one. Maybe I'll add some more. These guys are having a game come out. They're pretty cool. Um, I think they got some token airdrops and whatnot. These guys, you have to have two for breeding, so I picked up four, two sets, and then I think you can always constantly breed, so you can relist those, all that good like stuff. I don't know, you know, these were these were cool at, uh, this weekend. They have a great team behind them. Me personally, I like them. Um, and again, I've already made my money back, basically. Um, I bought another NFT or two since I got the 1500, so, you know, I spent like $600 since I made money. Uh, but I always reinvest, right? I always buy floors, I always buy things I like. And, you know, I got some shit that I'm listing. This guy's pretty cool. So let's talk about this project, for example. Let me show you guys some some concepts a little bit deeper, maybe, um, that you can view how to be successful in this market. So you should, again, follow me on Twitter, guys. It's very important, I'm telling you. Get the alpha drops. I'm not a noob at this. Um, but also, Here's how, here, when, when you're on Twitter, you can follow cool people, you can get in the know. So somebody was talking about this project right here. So let me, let me explain the way I viewed this. So I, I quickly came over here and I was like, what's, what's going on? You know, I checked out that activity. I'm like, okay, cool. I got some sales. And earlier they, they were selling a lot faster. They're a little slow right now. And here's the thing. It was cheap, I think. I forgot what I paid for mine. So I'm like, okay, what next? I'm looking at the, look, I'm looking at the floor. And I'm, what I like to do at this point is when I come into projects I may not know about from like Twitter or just whatever, maybe I found this off the thing, but I came to this project, okay, and I'm looking around and I'm pretty sure somebody was talking about this project. It was underrated. Some, somebody recommended it to me. The floor was like 0.2 or 0.3 as well for this when I got in. I think I paid 0.6 up for mine, I'm pretty sure. So technically I'm up. But what I did was, check this out. So I'm looking through this collection, literally one by one. There's like 300 items in here. So I'm looking, I'm looking. Wait, where's mine? I gotta find mine. Okay. So here's mine right here. I have a fire guy. See my skin, how it has fire? This is the way I'm kind of like doing things. When you get in collections, you want to either do two things. If it's flying off the floor, buy the floor, instantly resell that bitch. Or if you believe in the project, hold it, I don't know, right? Like. You, you have these projects that run up to 20 floors and 50 floors and 100 floors. It does happen. Fuck, I don't know. So, anyways, so I got this right here. This guy has fire skins. And the reason why I got him it was, was because he was at 0.6. And I, I'm relisting him right now at 20. Here's, my, here's, here's the thing, though. I've only seen three of these in the last, like, five hours lately. So, what happened was, I, I was scrolling through this. I... This is what I do. I literally look for, look by these one by one pretty quick, quick little scroll over. And if things pop out to me, I give it a quick glance and then I process that information. Like this guy's cool, he stands out. But uh, I'm scrolling through it. And at the moment, at the time I wasn't looking for a fire guy, but right now we are looking for a fire guy because, let me go back. See how the next fire guy to me, he's at 20. I actually naturally listed mine for 20. He happened to have his at 20 as well, go figure. But I'm okay with that. That's the floor um, that me and him are willing to sell our fire guys. And nobody else has a fire guy. Think about that. 
I don't know if people want to get in this project, but again, I, I think I was recommended. So this guy is 2.5, but there's nothing in between this. See what I'm saying? So basically, I can either sweep him up so I, I start sucking all the fire um, avatars from this project. I think they're building a game and some other shit. They got some um, uh, NFT airdrops coming to you guys if you guys get into this. Um, it's cheap. It's, it's not a lot. Um, but anyways, so between me and this one right here is like 17 and a half Solana, right? The way I view it is I'm comfortable sitting here and waiting for somebody else to buy this and then hopefully they list it higher, right? Because there's nothing really in between. But I can also view this as if I want to sell it, I can sell it in between 2.5 and where mine is at 20. Obviously, I'm not going to sell it for anything less. I'm not going to try to undercut this unless somebody's below this person. So logically, let's go ahead and just scroll through and see if we have anybody else that has a fire skin. I don't see one yet. Cool guy's kind of cool. This guy's standing up pretty cool too. I'm not gonna lie. So yeah, look, there's no other fire guy. Literally, there's three on this Magic Eden page. So those are the things you want to kind of consider. And this project was cheap enough, and I already made a lot of profit. I'm okay with throwing this money in. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I paid 0.6. It's already going up. Sales are coming in. The floor is higher than what I paid for. So if I want to get out, I can. And if I lose. I mean, I'm not losing, I'm losing like 60, 70 bucks, whatever. I think it's going to work. You know, there's only three. So one thing you want to consider, though, you got to look at all aspects of this. So check out their website, find out what the hell they're doing. Check out their Twitter, um, their Discord, maybe you want to join. I think I did it on, the, on this group here particularly. But if you go to their Twitter, what I want to show you guys is something interesting. So you gotta you got to put this in your analysis. There's actually like two or three marketplaces for this particular NFT long, um, line. Because with Solana, for whatever reason, there's three marketplaces. Versus Ethereum only has basically OpenSea as your master Ethereum NFT. Nobody else is really trading anywhere else, okay? There's, there's, there's not. So you got Magic Eden, you got Alpha Art, and you got Solana Art. So I want to go look at Solana Art because Solana Art is kind of like the, the second one next to Magic Eden. The, Solana Art used to be number one. They were the only one, but Magic Eden came out and they were really rough, man. Magic Eden was so fucking buggy. But man, I gotta admit, I took a break from Solana NFTs. I'm only coming back because again, I, I know it's a trend. I know this thing's happening. It's worked great. <laughs> um But now Magic Eden revamped their website. They had a 2.0, and I, I follow Magic Eden, so I saw this as well. And I didn't really play with it at the time. But I just kept seeing people on my Twitter feed be like, oh man, I really love the Magic Eden, Eden experience. Like, all right, let me go check this out. And then obviously, I, I was like, okay, well, what do I want to buy? Right? Because crypto's down. So I got to find somewhere to get my money. Working a nine to five ain't going to make nobody money. So that's why I'm in Web3. I'm building Web3 because I can also build companies with Web3. I can, I can create NFT projects. I can create blockchain projects, right? So... The biggest way to make money in this game is just to get into this game. And the only way you'll learn with NFTs is just by buying NFTs, unfortunately. But we want to give you guys as much value as possible. So just understand these risks. It's not like we're hiding it. We're sharing all our information. But again, if you guys learn some of these techniques, um, we don't just talk about NFTs. We talk about crypto as well. Okay. So like gaming and all that stuff. We've literally made t people in our Discord 20,000 in the last couple months, 50,000 in the last couple months. If they would just simply follow kind of what we're talking about. None of this is financial advice. So if you're using paper money, just listen. Pay attention. Um, we've literally called bangers after bangers. Um, I called a project called Pavea. Basically, it was $39.88 Cardano to get in that to, for the minting. Every single one of those land plots right now are worth $1,588. Not USD value, actual Cardano tokens. And I, I got them for 39 a piece. I got sand. I got land, uh, sandboxes, lands. I bought in at 2,500. That thing ran up to 1,800 at its max. Sorry, not 1,800. 18,000 within two months. Absolutely insane. Just, I also bought into some other projects recently, but we won't cover that in this 
particular video. But the point is, guys, it's just kind of like how I view this market right here. Somebody suggested this to me. So I came and checked it out. And I hope it works out. I look for something rare because it was a cheap project. If it's a cheap project, go look for something rare within that collection. Just be willing to pay what that might be. But don't pay something crazy, right? Like if something is one soul for the four, don't go in and just buy something for five Solana. It's crazy, especially for your first time. Just go buy go buy something cool around the floor. So the way I view that aspect of this, let me let me go look at that cozy bunny. Cozy. Oh, it's a Solana art. So yeah, um let me show you guys one more thing while we came over here to the Solana art website. So I'm looking on remember there's different marketplaces for Solana unfortunately. But I'm looking for another fire die. So I'm sort of from high to low. I'm looking at the floor. And I want to see if there's a fire guy in this marketplace. I'm probably going to bet you there's not. Yeah, there's not a fire guy. See what I'm saying? They're stirring like this whole collection between these two sides. I find that really weird. Really weird. This guy's dope. I'm not going to lie. I might scoop that guy right there. This guy is dope. Oh, I see a lot of bias talking to you guys. All right. So I think I showed you guys the process of like when you click on it and buy things. You can connect here too. You just hit this, select one of these wallets. There's some more that they support. Connect to the site. That's basically, and Web3, that's how you create your user accounts. You don't just make usernames and passwords. There's some sites that do this, sure. But generally you just hit connect, authorize, and then it connects its, its thing. Um, but me personally, I like Magic Eden. So let's go back over here, guys. I'm really, really loving Magic Eden, man. I mean, just look at this uh, UI. It's beautiful. So cozy. Cups. So these bad boys um, are, right now are going back up a little bit. What do we want to do at this point? I'm trying to think. So we're low to high. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I should bring to you guys. Um. Again, you guys should go ahead and just follow us, follow me on Twitter, follow me on the YouTube channel. I don't really drop these videos as often as you guys are probably wanting from me. But if you guys will follow me on Twitter, I do talk about these things all the time. You should join our Discord channel. We do drop these things and talk in there all the time. Um, and yeah. Um, Join Twitter, right? Get involved in the Web3 space. Start following certain people. Start getting involved with the community. Watch what they're talking about. Watch what they're posting. I think if you're new to the game, you don't want to get into super expensive projects, but I think around one soul to 1.5 soul is a good entry point for a solid project that you that you sh you feel very strongly about. If you don't feel strongly about something, look for things around like 0.3. You know, you can't afford to really make mistakes if you have a smaller budget. I have a lot more money in this game between crypto and NFTs. I have Ethereum NFTs. I have, I mean, uh, yeah, I have Ethereum NFTs. I have Solana NFTs. I have Ator NFTs, which is the Binance Smart Chain Network. Um, and then I have the Cardano NFTs as well. So, yeah, hopefully you guys find some value in this video. If you do, again, hit that follow button. Hit that, hit that bell icon. It does help. Join our Discord. Follow me on Twitter. I'm out, guys.